<laughs> that's that's my only hope. <laughs> I don't All remember right. a dang thing. Is that fatherhood robbed you of your brain cells? It totally <laughs> did. <laughs> Every last bit. Okay, everybody can start their local recordings. If you haven't yet, I appreciate that. I'm also going to click record on the Zoom. We are live on YouTube. Hello out there on YouTube. If you're watching live there and you're wondering, where's the YouTube chat? Well, we disabled the chat because we don't like you. No, just kidding. We like to have our chat in one place. And all the JS Party regulars hang out in the JS Party channel of a changelog Slack. So if you want to chat, you can't do it on YouTube, but you can do it there. So head to changelog.com slash community, sign up for free, get a Slack invite, hop in there and hang out with us as we go. Now, my contestants are not in there, and that's by design, because if they were in the chat, they would be seeing all the guesses that are going live mm. during the game, and that would be cheating, and we have no cheating on the show. So uh, that's why you're not allowed in the chat. Sorry, folks. Yeah, we are not going to, definitely not going to cheat, right? <laughs> no. 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 There, there's, the, the game is designed such that there's not enough time to Google reliably. Okay. So at least I hope so. That's why I tell Sounds like that. my my production code work so great. There you go. Um cool. Everybody's recording? Mm -hmm. And let's do a quick clapper just so it's easier for me in post. I'll count to 3 and on 4 you clap. So 1 2 3 and then clap. Ready? This, One, this isn't going to be on the audio two, the soundboard. 3. It's fine. Right. Are you ready to play a game? Yes. Okay. I'm just now checking all my mental blocks and saying, what have you forgotten, Jared? Let's see. Everything's recording. Everybody is recording. Nick's got the soundboard. Nick, you can go ahead and hide video. Just that. Can Did everybody hear that? Yep. yep. Cool. A little loud. Maybe just like a smidge down for me. I don't know about y'all. I like it loud, but I don't want to be like, ugh. Let me try one more time. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. Um, okay. Going away. Nick's going away now. Goodbye, Nick. Good luck. All right, Nick, whenever you're ready, you can play our intro theme song. We'll go. Welcome everyone to JS Party. I'm Jared Danger Santo, and today we have a very special treat for you. Our Don't Call It Jeopardy game show is back, and we're joined by the team behind CSS Tricks. Maybe you've heard of it, css-tricks.com, and they're going to face off and see which one's the best. Chris Coyer is here. Chris, thanks for coming on JS Party. Oh, I can't wait. Thanks for having me. And do you like to live dangerously? That's my middle name. <laughs> no, that was my middle name. Didn't you hear my intro? Dang it. We also have Sarah Drasner here. Sarah, do you have a competitive spirit? Muted. You're muted, Sarah. Sarah, I think you might be muted. Then you missed me trolling Chris. I said, oh. I said yes, but I haven't broken both of my wrists in the last two years. Oh. Like Chris oh. <laughs> let, let me go ahead and back up and I'll reintroduce you. I have a chance to troll him once again. Oh. <laughs> and you'll do it totally naturally because it's easy the second time, isn't it? Sarah Drasner is also here. Sarah, do you have a competitive spirit? I do, but not as much as Chris who has broken both of his wrists in the last two years. <laughs> <Ouch>. <laughs> Chris, how'd you break your wrist, man? I was, I was mountain biking and I was really just competing against myself really. And it was my elbows, which I'm not sure if, which is worse, but oh. I, I could type with the elbows thing. So I'm saying it was a little better maybe. 
Yeah, and he sounds... was putting out articles the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like oh, you do like to live, live dangerously after else. all. <laughs> <laughs> that voice you hear is Jeff Graham. Jeff, welcome to the show. Hi, nice to be here. And I've wondered, have you ever considered suing Instagram for a trademark infringement? I think so. Uh, once or twice, but for probably different reasons than you're thinking. Uh, <laughs> what, are, what are you thinking? Well, just they're using your name, man. That's your name, Graham. They're oh. using it. Oh, come on. Not oh, fair. oh, sure. Okay, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, uh, I, I hold exclusive copyright on the H and the extra A that's in there as well. So Excellent. I'm all good. And we are also joined by Miriam Suzanne. Mary, uh, welcome. Did you bring your trivia skills with you? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> well, then you'll fit right in because uh, we are here to have some fun and to play JS Danger. This is very much in the Jeopardy style. So we will do a round robin selection of squares from the game board. Go ahead and pop that game board open and we'll take a look. Just like in Jeopardy, you must answer the questions in the form of a question. And uh, if you don't, we're not going to slap you on the wrist, but we, we try to keep a Jeopardy style, at least in honor of the show. And there are two rounds and then a final trouble round. First round is called trouble. And there are four categories. Each category has a theme. We will take turns selecting a square. If you get it right, you get the points from that square. If you get it wrong, it goes to the next person in line. They have a chance to steal. So if it's Chris's turn, Sarah will have a chance to steal, then Jeff, then Miriam, and so on. Uh, if you steal, you get the points. If you miss the steal, you also go negative. So be careful with the steals. Let's go ahead and take a look at our categories, and I'll describe what their themes are. So the first one is called Project People. And this is where you are trying to match coders with the projects that they started. The second category is called mm -hmm. Movies Worth CSSing. These are movies with CSS related things in their titles. <whistles> category three is called Tricky CSS Sites. These are websites that aren't CSS tricks, and yet people still somehow learn CSS from them. The next category is called Bleeding Edge. These are newish browser features. So there you go. Chris, the board is yours. Please pick a square. Oh, I get to kick it off. That's exciting. Oh, I'll take Bleeding Edge for 100, please. Bleeding Edge for 100. Some animations can cause dizziness and nausea in people with vestibular disorders. Media queries to the rescue. Do I have to form my answer in the form of a question or whatever? <laughs> you can try. What is... Re prefers reduced motion that is correct 100 points to Ooh. you sir very well played the sarah, snowball you are. is going yeah. there you go now we're playing we're having some fun sarah you are up please pick a square oh i'm interested in the movies worth cssing for 100 movies worth cssing keanu reeves infiltrates a gang of bank robbing surfers in this 1991 cult classic Isn't it breaking uh, point break? Point break. You pulled it out somehow at the last second. Very wow. Good. <laughs> Jeez. Excellent. Excellent. It was there because break was in the title? Like, or what? Or point? Break point? Yeah, like break points. Uh, oh, point break. Point break. Oh. Point. There you go. Okay. Clever. Thank you. Okay. Jeff, your turn. Please pick a square. I'm going to keep it going right there. Movies worth CSSing, 300. Somehow our squares got mixed up there. 300's in the 200 spot. I'm going to go ahead and blame Nick for that. Uh, in the colorful future, even though it's my fault, a cab driver, who is Bruce Willis, unwittingly becomes the central figure in the search for a legendary cosmic weapon to keep evil and Mr. Zorg, played by Gary Oldman, at bay. Oh, good lord. I'm going to have to pass on that one. I have no idea. I'm just not Steel. Bruce Willis savvy. Oh, wait. All right. So pass gets you negative 300. And a Miriam gets a chance to steal. Would you like to steal? What is what is the fifth element? That is correct. Oh, very geez. good. Very good. A successful good steal. 
and you now get the board. Fun. This is good pun material here. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I guess I'll jump back over to Bleeding Edge for 200. Bleeding Edge for 200. This experimental CSS property allows animations to be driven by a con container's scroll position. Uh, what is animation scroll timeline? Um, well, scroll, mm, scroll, scroll timeline. timeline? Yeah, scroll timeline. We'll give it to you. Very good. I heard animation. I'm like, that's not right. But then you kept talking. I'm like, that sounds pretty good. <laughs> All right. Very good. So you're in the lead. Looping back around. Chris, it's your turn. Please pick a square. <laughs> bleeding edge for 300, please. All right. Here we go. They're going after the bleeding edge. This modern image format is optimized for web environments. It boasts better image compression than WebP, JPEG, PNG, and GIF with a hard mm -hmm. G. Uh, it's AVIF. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. It may also be true now that I'm thinking about it, but it's not the one that was on the website. Okay. <laughs> uh, anybody like to steal a non-AVIF answer? That was my answer. <laughs> okay. Well, maybe, you guys can, maybe you guys can school me. So this was uh, according to caniuse.com and the feature is called JPEG XL. Oh. Is anybody familiar? My answer is more right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to defer to Chris. Let's go ahead and give him the points. Because you're probably more right than I am. Thank you very much. I'm Chris not just... cheating. I'm really right. <laughs> okay. I agree. <laughs> Everybody agrees? He got it right. All right. What's funny is we were test driving this uh, before the show and Nick also went through these questions and he also said AVIF. So that's why I was like, hmm, maybe I got it wrong there. All right, Sarah, your turn. I want to do um, tricky CSS sites for 100. All right, for 100. Often a top CSS related search results, but that doesn't mean devs love it. Oh, um, um, oh, I can picture it in my mind. <laughs> uh, the green site, um, <laughs> brain, um, oh, oh time out. I know Sorry, answer, tip I of your tongue, Jeff. Do you know what site we're referring to? <laughs> What is W3 schools? Yes. That's it. <laughs> the one. I'm like well picturing played. it in my mind. <laughs> yes, we all have you it. You can't read that. Yeah. Okay, Jeff, your turn. Please pick a square. Oh, uh, Bleeding Edge 400. Bleeding Edge for 400. The new Cookie Store API has a more modern interface than document.cookie and can also be used in these. What is custom properties? I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Miriam, would you like to steal? No, I would no. not. Chris, would you like <laughs> to steal? I don't really understand the question. You, okay. You, you, that's fine. Skip. No. Nope. Skip. Sarah, would you like to steal? I. We're not talking about local storage, are we? Is that a steal or a question? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not so, supposed to tell you that until you submit a steal. I, uh, I would say probably skip the steal. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody is stealing. Let's go ahead and show the answer. They Was it a web worker? Oh, a service. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Tough one. Jeff so far selecting the difficult so ones. You can't Let's use a regular on. cookie in a service worker. <laughs> TIL. Mm -hmm. uh, Miriam, your turn. Please select a category. Let's do tricky CSS sites for 200. OK. Browser support tables for modern web technologies, including CSS. Uh, what is can I use? <laughs> and or <No>. MDN. <laughs> mm. There's some crossover there now, isn't there? All right, you got that one. We're back to Chris. I'll take tricky CSS sites for 300. Okay, here we go. 
This site demonstrates what can be accomplished by only changing the CSS. Oh, yeah, the Zen Garden, CSS Zen Garden. That's right. This is, well, that's like one for us old, old folks. That is an old school <laughs> one, isn't it? Yeah, there's, there's a new version of it, uh, uh -huh. Style Stages. Really? Oh. Yeah. yeah. By Is it Stephanie behind that? Stephanie Eccles? Nice. So check that There's, out. They kind of like re revitalized the Zen Garden too at one point, and you could like actually like submit pull requests to it and stuff. Oh, oh, sorry. Let's get back to the game. <laughs> <You're cool. laughs> we can chit chat. No big deal. Um, okay, whose turn was that? I think I'm next. Maybe. Miriam just got it right, right? Okay, so back to Chris then. Back or no, to... I I got, oh, it, you right. got it right. Oh, you Sarah's... got that right. So it's oh, Sarah's turn. Very good. Brave okay, Sarah was correct. God, Chris is trying to steal. <laughs> I really. <laughs> um, we haven't done project people yet, so I'll do that one for. All one. right. Matt Mullenweg. WordPress. Very good. That feels like a softball. <laughs> that is a 100 point question. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Okay, Jeff. It's going to keep going in the red. Uh, Bleeding Edge 500. <laughs> if the guy likes to bleed. What can we say? <laughs> this CSS property sets whether an element's background extends underneath its border box, padding box, or content box. Uh, what is border box? Oh, I mean, uh, no. Uh, go ahead and, and take You that. can change it. Do you have a, you have a better guess? Uh, no, go right ahead. <laughs> All right. Sorry, Jeff. You go further yeah. in the red. Miriam for the steal. <laughs> What is background clip? That's yep. correct. Thanks for that. Yeah. <laughs> Miriam yeah. is the benefactor of <laughs> first Jeff's... debuted nineteen yeah. ninety seven. <laughs> um, that's why it was new ish. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Um, that was Jeff's turn, so it's Miriam's turn. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, tricky CSS sites for four hundred. Launched in 2005 when a small team of idealists set out to create a new free community built online resource for all web developers. What is web platform docs? I bet that's it. No. Hmm. Hmm. Chris. I'm not going to steal because that was my guess. Okay. Sarah. This may be too late to be accurate, but GeoCities? I'm sorry, that's not correct either. Jeff, <laughs> and dig out of that hole? Uh, I have a guess, but I kind of like that someone's joining me in the red, so I'm just going <laughs> to leave it. <laughs> okay, let's see what the answer was. Oh, oh that's what I should have. Oh, okay. I should have totally, I, that was it. There Shoot. it was, 2005. Small it's been that long ago. Lists. That's Large according to their own, that's according to their own about page right there. Oh, okay. 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 Yep. Those are not my words. All right. So that was it's always hard to remember whose turn it is. Who who said that one? Oh, that was oh, yeah. mine. All right. So, so we're back to Chris, Chris then. Chris. Okay. Tricky play. CSS sites for five hundred. All right. He's going Gotta back to the, the well. This site shows you CSS alternatives for common JS UI components. Oh. And I have to guess, right? Or can That's I? That's correct. You have to guess. I have to guess. Is it like you may not need JS or something like that? You don't. Need wow! Yeah. Way to pull it out. Look at yes. this. <laughs> <laughs> How did you pull that one out? Oh, excellent job. All right, Sarah, your turn. Pick a square. Let's do project people for two hundred. Okay. Another softball, John Rezig. JQuery. <laughs> there you go. Jeff, it's your turn. I knew the last one too. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, let's go Project People 300. Okay. David Hanemeyer Hansen. That's Basecamp. Uh, oh, open source project. Rails? Yes, yes. There you go. <laughs> Very good. Now we're scooting along. Miriam, your turn. Um, movies worth CSSing for 200? 
a young Peruvian bear travels to London in search of a home in this 2015 animated comedy. What is Paddington Bear? You got it. Very good. Marginington. <laughs> uh, Chris, your turn. <laughs> I'll take project people for 400. Dries Boitart. Oh, no. And I have to guess again. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dries. I don't know you. Let's see. Think of project. That's something. Oh, does everybody know it? I feel dumb. It's new tools. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Sarah, would you like to steal? Can I say no? <laughs> you can say no. Yeah, you can say no. Okay, wait, wait. I'm going to make a guess. Um, okay. We did CMSs. What if he's like Drupal? Drupal? You got it. You nice work. You just oh, that, that was nice. <laughs> wow. Wow. I did. I thought you were going further in the red there. Congratulations. That was excellent. All right. And it's now your turn as well. Oh, again. Oh, okay. Um, oof. Uh, project people. All right. For 500, Mr. Oh, Doob. Yeah. Mr. Doob does, does 3JS. That's right. Wow. Very good. I'm pulling it together. <laughs> you are. You're on a comeback. You're now tied for second place with 800. Chris has 800. Miriam has 1,000. Jeff, it's your turn. I'll take movies worth CSSing 400. 400. Two powerful mutants, Charles Xavier and Eric Lencher, join together to stop a ruthless dictator from thrusting Russia and the U.S. into nuclear war. Oh, gosh. This is, it's like so showing that I don't watch movies. Jeez, uh, I'm sorry, I'm gonna pass. Okay. Miriam with a chance to steal? Uh, let's go with uh, who are the X-Men? Is that X-Height men? <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're gonna have to say no on that one. You're close, but you're All not. Right. you're not on. Uh, Chris. It's, I'm going to pass because pass. it's X-Men related. Yeah, Sarah. X-Men first class. X-Men first class. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. Oh. <laughs> Storming back to take the lead. <laughs> All right. Incredible. And that leaves us with just movies worth CSSing for 500. This is Miriam's turn. Or is this Chris's turn? Uh, yeah, that's me, I think. That's you. Or okay. Wait. Yeah. Who started the X-Men one? That was that was Jeff. Jeff so yeah, was so Jeff. it's Miriam's turn. Yeah. All right, last one on the board for round one. Steven Spielberg directs Whoopi Goldberg, a black southern woman struggling to find her identity after suffering abuse from her father and others. What is the color Rebecca Purple? You got it. <laughs> wow. Wow. Well Very done. Very good. Thus concludes round one. Let's look at the board. We have in first place with 1,200 points, Sarah Drasner. Following close behind is Miriam with 1,100. Chris in third with 800. And Jeff still bleeding after those bleeding edge wow. choices. That's negative sure 1,200. Did. Don't worry, Jeff. Double troubles just around the corner. What a real comeback for Sarah. Yeah, yeah he's amazing. really drowning. <laughs> that. <laughs> that was clutch. Well done, everyone. Except Jeff, you did. <laughs> I just hope my boss isn't watching. Me with me here. <laughs> Don't we all? Uh, all right. Who's ready for round two? Should we keep going? Let's do it. All right. Let's Absolutely. load up round two. Now, this is double trouble. All point values are doubled. So it's a good chance to come back or. Uh, fail terribly. <laughs> so <laughs> the first column category is, oh, no, you didn't. These are obviously node-related questions. The second category, category is called frame words. These are CSS frameworks in their own words, so how they describe themselves in their homepage. Actual CSS tricks, those are you know hacks that devs have to do to get stuff done. 
And then the last one is called divitis. On this one, we've taken uh, HTML elements and which were semantic and we've replaced them with divs and you have to figure out which element it originally was. Oh my God. That's cool. <laughs> so. Also, Miriam has a leg up on the framework's category. <laughs> Do I? Well, you a framework aficionado? She I made don't know. <laughs> I, guess, I guess that counts. <laughs> okay. That's one more than I've made. <laughs> Um, and let's see, we finished off with Miriam. So I guess we'll go back to Chris. Chris, go ahead and get us started. Round two. Okay, let's try Dividus for 200. All right. So div, name equals please. Press me, mm -hmm. end div. I hope it's a button. You got it. All right, we go to Sarah. I'm going to try um, actual CSS tricks for 200. You can use multiple background images and nested divs to achieve the rounding effect possible with this one property. Rounding effect, like, well, I, I guess you can't tell me. Remember um, that it's a it's a hack. So this is something that people did before the property existed. I see. Um, is it CSS gradient? Um, nope. Jeff to steal. What is border radius? That's it. Oh, I was thinking. Okay. Good memories right. of the sliding doors. Oh, yes. Nice. Jeff began his comeback, and it's now your turn, Jeff. You get to oh, pick a square. Great. All right, let's 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 keep digging out. Uh, frame words for 200, please. Frame words for 200. Simple and flexible HTML, CSS is on JavaScript for popular user interface components and interactions from Twitter. What is bootstrap? There you go. And we go to Miriam. Let's do actual CSS tricks for 400. Many people aren't clear why this fixes anything, but they reach for it anyways when things don't look right. <laughs> hmm. What is C index? Guess, but not what we're looking for. Chris? My guess is that it's a pun and that it's clear, clear fix. Clear both. Yeah. You got it, the clear fix. Uh, a lot of these are older because we don't have to do them quite as often as we used to. That was Miriam's turn, so now it's Chris's turn. Mm. Frame words for a thousand. Oh my goodness, he's going big. The less formal CSS framework, its goal is to be as minimal as possible when adding classes. Its goal is to be as minimal as possible when adding classes. I don't know. It's not Tailwind, but I'm going to say Tailwind. That is incorrect. All right. Well, it's to be Here's what I'll remind people possible. to be to be uh, careful with the steals because you can lose a thousand by, by stealing haphazardly. Sarah, do you know what it is? Would you like to steal? Um, tachyons. That was a good. That's a good guess. All right. That's also incorrect. Jeff, would you like to steal? I'm going to go out on a limb, yes. Uh, <laughs> Despite all advice, <laughs> I'm going for it. <laughs> what right. is paper CSS? You got it. No oh. way. Very good. Nicely so, done. That was an obscure one. Thank you. Thank you. Sarah, I think. Yep, Sarah, your turn. I want to do... Um, Actual CSS tricks for 800. Okay, for 800. It used to be a trickier aspect of CSS, but Flexbox and Grid have made it trivial to pull off. Floats. Not what we were after there. I can what see where you go. I can see where you go. <laughs> Jeff, for steel? What is aspect ratio? Not quite, um, right? 
week. Miriam. I'm going to go with what is layout. Well, that's such a generic thing to say. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> layout. It's a large aspect. I had a, a uh, holy I, grail. I, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not, not what we're looking for. Sorry, just not. What we're looking for. I had to read our minds as well as get it right. <laughs> just because everybody's <laughs> risking it all, I'm going to say column. Also, not what we're looking for. Oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> the question Welcome from everyone. hell. Welcome set, equal, to equal height. It's the old. It's the thing that everybody complains about all the time. Just like how to center things, right? Vertically oh, center, horizontally. Center that's things. fair. That's fair. That's, okay. It's true. That wouldn't have been too broad of a question, but at least we all got bit by it. <laughs> Which means it, it was basically a no-op at that point, right? Um, okay, whose turn was that? Was it's Sarah's hard to even see who's winning anymore. <laughs> Just blood <laughs> on the streets. <laughs> Jeff. Oh, I'll do divide us for 400. All right. Div, this text is important, serious, or urgent. End div. Um is that what is no that's not gonna be it shoot oh um what is the alert nope miriam to steal what is strong Got it. strong all mm. right. And it's your turn as well, Miriam. Back in the white. Yes. Uh, I'll do divide us again. Let's go 600. Okay. Divide us for 600. Div, JSON, and div stands for JavaScript object notation. What is ABBR? Got it again. Very good. It's an abbreviation. Okay. Chris, to you. I'm so nervous. I'm gonna die. <laughs> I want Dividus for a thousand, though. He's going a thousand each time. Yeah. All right, go big or go home. Div value equals seventy. Progress. Max equals a hundred. Oh, you got it. Progress. Ah, yeah, <laughs> uh, well played, sir. Thank you. And Sarah, your turn. I want frame words for eight hundred. Okay. This 8-bit like CSS framework is brimming with 80s nostalgia. That feels like something I would know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the answer. Okay. Jeff, would you like to steal? No, thanks. Miriam to steal. Nope. Chris is steal. Too risky. Yep. But I'll that, say if there's some one. Is it the Windows 98 looking one? That's a that's a good second guess. It's actually NES.CSS, oh. which is a very cool yes, it is. framework. Yes. All right. Moving on. It is now Jeff's turn. Let's take a frame word 600. I know you guys are ignoring the node category. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Not a surprise. A free open source framework that provides ready to use front end components that you can easily combine to build responsive web interfaces. No CSS knowledge required. What is. Oh, geez. Ready to use front end components. This is straight off their, their like a homepage, huh? This is right off their homepage. They make a big uh, deal out of the end. No CSS knowledge required. No CSS knowledge required. Okay. Um, what is material? I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Miriam, saying no. Oh, I don't. I don't know. Okay, Chris, steal. Risky. Sarah to steal. Uh, I'm already in the red, so I'm just going to keep going. Okay. Yeah. Is, it, is it Prismic? No. I'm sorry. The framework <laughs> is Bulma. Oh. Hmm. Okay. There you go. All right. That was... I like Bulma. It looks good. It's a nice looking one. It does look nice. Marketing copy could use some work, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because uh, it's like CSS knowledge helpful. Right. 
Whose turn? Let's up? see. That was Jeff's yeah. turn. So Miriam, your turn. Uh, actual CSS tricks, 600. OK. This is the best place for your style rule to ensure it gets applied. Place is all caps. Why is place all caps? Uh, I'll tell you afterwards. Uh, inline? What is inline? You got it. I put place in all caps because you might think bang important is what you would do, but that's not really a place. Uh, okay. So yeah. Kind of I, it actually, it did help. I was okay. just thinking of the way people used to write HTML all caps all the time. All yeah. right. Oh, yeah. Very good. Got it right. Chris, your turn. Uh, I have. I feel like I'm contractually obliged to take actual CSS tricks. <laughs> All right. This proprietary Microsoft extension to Internet Explorer provides a mechanism to target each of the versions of IE either specifically or as a group. Are, the, are they those like, I'm going to say conditional comments. I'm going to say you are correct. <sighs> Very good. Good to be number one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sarah, your turn. Oh, no, you didn't for 200. Okay. Waiting into the node waters. Miss the browser? This function might console you. It works pretty much the same in node. I mean... This feels too obvious. <laughs> it is the easiest in the column. All right, console.log. Got it. I'm like, is this a trick? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jeff, your turn. Pick a square. Uh, frameworks 400. A utility first framework to rapidly build modern websites without ever leaving your HTML. Is. What is atomic CSS? Oh, damn. Incorrect. Miriam to steal? I think you're on the right track. What is Tailwind? That's it. Thanks, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> you're Miriam welcome. Benefiting from her placement in the, on the board here. So your turn as well. I'll take Divitis for 800 because I am not touching Node. <laughs> A common equation in physics is E equals MC div to N div. Uh, what is SUP? You got it. Nice. So and you, I was going to say, you avoided my opportunity to say, not much. <laughs> Sup with you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting for it the whole game. <laughs> Chris, your turn. There's only node questions left. I'll take the 600 one. Just okay, he's not going for a thousand this time it. around. No. You have to use require instead of import in node because it relies on this module system. Like CJS, probably. Common. Let's say yes, common correct. Case. You got it. Not technically 100% true anymore, but it was true at the time of the writing. Okay. Because sometimes you don't have to anymore. Okay. Sarah. I'm going to do node you didn't for 400. Node.js runs on this JavaScript engine, which is also at the core of Google Chrome. It's, um, oh God, my brain is. V8. Very good. You guys are drilling the node questions. Jeff, to you, you got 800 or 1,000? 1,000. Let's do it. Thanks. This in the browser's global scope refers to window, but in node, it refers to. What is the document? Mm. <laughs> uh, mercy points, mercy yeah, points. We'll give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> It's actually, the, it's module that export. It's the current module, and so the doc. Yeah. If you're in a document, 
there is no document object, but the current module, which would be the top that level thing in the current document. So close enough, we'll give it to you. All right, which leaves Miriam with, oh no, you didn't for 800, here we go. Okay. If you want to read an environment variable or exit from a node program, you must use this core module. Read an environment variable. I think I've done that before. Maybe. Do you remember the module you used? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Want to hazard a guess or we'll just subtract the points? Uh, hmm. I think you can just subtract the points. <laughs> okay. Uh, minus 800. We go to Chris for the steal. No. I mean, I, pass. I could guess, but I'm absolutely not going to. Okay. Sarah to steal. Dot M. That's close, but incorrect. Dot Excuse M me. is, yeah. Jeff to steal. Oh, well, that was what I was going to guess. So, uh, so <laughs> I'm just going to let it slide. All right. The module is called process. Oh, so okay. Process.exit, process.env. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Et cetera. Thus concludes round two, double trouble. <laughs> oh, I went from Did your miss make me win? <laughs> yes. Well, the game yes. over yet. We still have final trouble. The game is not quite over yet. So I got to go, actually. So oh, just... damn it. <laughs> 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 well, Chris loses by forfeit. Taking uh, my chips. Chris uh, with two, 2,200 points. Uh, Miriam in second with 1,900. Jeff in third now with negative 1,000. And Sarah in fourth with negative 2,400. Now, <laughs> we're about to play Final Trouble. And for that, everybody must have some points to wager. So a few of us are in the red. So what we will do is we will add negative 24. Well, actually, we'll add 3,000 to everybody's score. Okay. To get Sarah back in the red, and that way it's still even. <laughs> it's like poor Sarah. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do that, and then we'll start round three right after this. All right, Nick, go ahead and add those up. Everybody gets three thousand more, so Chris should have fifty-two hundred, and we get to do them by hundred. So sit back and watch Nick click. Sarah should end up with six hundred. Oh, by the way, folks. So for this last round. Uh, you'll submit your uh, you'll submit your wagers and your answers to me via the Zoom chat. So you'll just do like a private chat to me. Okay. Because you because what we do is we all see the category, then you wager, and then I say the question, and then you submit your answer. So it's all private um, versus out loud. Yep, I see Chris is in there. I already guessed grid template columns in line block. <laughs> I see Miriam in there. And Jeff. Cool. All right. We're waiting for Sarah to get back from bio break. If anybody else needs to step away or get a drink of water or whatever you'd like to do, we have a minute. Scott drilled it in the chat room process. Good job on the questions. These are fun. Thank yeah, you. really well done. It's super cool. Yeah, seriously. Really? Got to go back and strike that JPEG XL one from the record. <laughs> <laughs> is that a thing? I don't know. It is, but I don't know if it's new. And AVIF is new and has all the press lately. Right. So those I was getting off of... I was just using can I use as blog because I figured as they added new things to can I use, they were like relatively new yeah. features. Um, I don't know if that's true. Yeah, I, 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 saw, I, I do that same thing. And I saw one the other day that was called over overflow overlay. And yeah, I, was like, I saw that too. And I, that? I went and looked at it and I was like, this doesn't seem. And then they're like, you should, this is a deprecated. I'm like, well, then how's it? Yeah, new? they were just adding an old deprecated thing. I'm like, oh, good job. Thanks for that. Super useful. So JPEG XL image <laughs> format has zero support, like global zero percent. Mm. But does that mean it's like maybe it's brand stinking new? Or maybe it's so old that no one maybe it just like didn't ever become a thing. XL makes it sound like it's huge. Doesn't it? Yeah. What's well, a terrible ah. name? It does say JPEG XL <laughs> competes with AVIF, which has similar compression quality but fewer features. So this might be like a brand new thing that 
someone's trying to do. I don't know. When you ask Leah Baru to be on the call. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh. All right, should we do it? Okay, everyone's back. So Sarah, uh, during this round, we're going to show there, you can see the category. You're going to submit your wager to me privately on Zoom, and then you're also going to submit your answer there as well, and then I'll read them all off at the end. It's not like out loud, okay? Wait, sorry, I miss. So we're still in the break. So, but when we go back into the show for this round, instead of uh, giving your answer out loud, everybody's going to wager some points. So you'll just Zoom chat that to me in like a private message in wow. Zoom, and then when I say please submit your answers, you'll do the same thing, and then I'll read off the answers, and we'll get the final score. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Erase that. <laughs> Is that going to get effects. excluded yeah. from? Yeah, we have our own copyright uh, violation. Yeah, we have our own version that's that's not infringe, but tries to do the same amount of stress, but only with weird noises. <laughs> so you'll hear that shortly. Nick, you ready back there? I assume you're ready. Yep. Go. All right, we are back for final trouble. This is our very last question. A little bit different than the other rounds. Instead of taking turns, everybody is going to wager some points based on the category given. Then we'll show the question. And whoever ends up with the most points at the end is our actual CSS trickster winner. And the category is CSS emoji handshake R&B. So there's your category. Contestants, please submit to me your wagers. You can wager up to all of your points. And uh, that's it. Submit your wagers now. Like this should be an R and B right now. <laughs> Here comes the stressy part. I have everybody but Sarah. I don't like it. <laughs> Sarah's still waiting on yours. I have everybody else's. No, your wager, not your answer. Wager, how many points you'd like to wager? Uh, the answer will come after. I haven't revealed the question yet. That's a good guess, though. You're, you're right on track. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, now... <clears throat> hold on, let me... Let me have a good edit stop there. <clears throat> All right. All of the wagers are in. Let's reveal our final trouble question. A year before CSS's debut, this chart topping trio sang this song. Dreams are hopeless aspirations and hopes are coming true. Believe in yourself. The rest is up to me. Yeah. Go, go chasing waterfalls. Please stick to the rivers and the lakes that you used to. We have Jeff's, we have Chris's, we have Miriam's. Very appropriate choice, by the way. Thank you. And Sarah is also in. Okay. So final results time. Chris, you wagered 4,901. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Forgot to mention that our game board only works in 50 point value. So. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Good strategy, but Ill illegitimate due to technological hurdles. And your I think answer. You know what I was going for there. Yes. Your answer was TLC, and that is correct. Ah, so, oh, so yes. You I got was it. Write tender love and care, but <laughs> glad I abbreviated it. Uh, Miriam, you wagered 500, and you also answered TLC. C congratulations. You got it right. Jeff wagered. 2000 all of his points and he answered tlc as well so you're correct as well and sarah wagered all of her points and she also said tlc so everybody got the final yeah. trouble answer right yeah. congratulations yay 
We're However, there can winners. be only one. And Chris did have the most points and the highest points at the end. So our winner of this game of JS Danger is the yeah. one on Chris Coyer. Chris, I'm going win. to Disney yeah. World. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Miriam wasn't too far behind. I feel like mm. they're... Oh. <laughs> well, that was a blast. Thank you to all four of you for being such good sports, for playing along, and for all of the the web dev knowledge that you guys have shared over the years at CSS Tricks and continue to share on a daily basis. We really appreciate the work that you all do over there, and we appreciate you coming on the show and playing JS Danger with us. Thank you for having us. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. That yeah, was a huge pleasure. <laughs> yeah. Show my face bigger. <laughs> <laughs> what did he get? Did he get like a hot dog or something? <laughs> He's hot dogging, all right. I get $50 off <laughs> Linode hosting. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. Thanks. All right. That's JS Party for this week. Thanks for everybody for playing along, and we'll talk to you next time. Woo. All right. <laughs> nice. That was fun. <laughs> oh, good stuff, y'all. That was a blast. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, are you going to go in there and edit the CSS to make my face bigger? That's funny. Come on, Nick. Make it? his face even bigger. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I got to go. Thanks so much. That was really fun. All right. <laughs> You bet. I'll share out a uh, screenshot a, that. From... There you go. I'll throw Ooh, a Dropbox. You got the one in there. Nice. I'll show a, uh, I'll share a link into the chat room for y'all to upload your audio to. Yeah. You need cool. to add 4,900 more points to it, though. Okay, bye. I got to go. Love you. All right. Yeah. See you. Bye. Oh, bye. bye, everybody. Thanks. Goodbye, live listeners. Thanks for hanging out and playing with us.